town to town From London to Taiwan I've been all around the globe Trying to protect your soul so it is Saturday morning. We are out mowing. We just knocked out two big ones already. We've gotten a lot of rain lately, which led Billy and I to a little discussion. We were just talking about, um, you know, mowers and these yards being soft. They're not as soft as I thought, but they are definitely soft. And uh, so here's something you guys need to consider when you're buying a mower. Now we have a bunch of really big properties that a big mower would come in handy. It would, it would be pretty nice, like Ryan's new um, Ferris Z3X. Now. Here's the deal, that Ferris Z3X, well, we'll talk about the walker first, Billy's Walker B, okay? That mower is 725 pounds with fuel in it, 725 pounds with Billy on it, he's about 115, so we'll just say round it over to 850 pounds total. That mower, fuel in it, Billy on it, 850 pounds, okay? Ryan's new Ferris Z3X, I looked it up last night, completely empty by itself that mower is 1267 pounds now it holds 11 gallons of fuel we'll just say roughly eight pounds a gallon okay so now you're at over another hundred pounds we'll just say i don't know we'll just say a hundred pounds okay so 1267 pounds empty another hundred uh, pounds in fuel at 1,367 pounds. Ryan weighs 300. Do the math. That's 1,700 pounds. That Ferris plus him on it on a really soft lawn. Okay, now Ryan I think is like 280. He's a little under 300. But that fuel is more than 100. So probably 110, 115, whatever the hell it is. I can't do the math in my head right now. But so either way, he's around 1,700 pounds trying to mow along with that mower. Billy is at 850 pounds. That's the difference. My Toro Grandstand is 910 pounds. Um, it holds 10 gallons of fuel. So it's right around 1,000. I'm 200. So we'll just say 1,200 pounds complete, that Toro Grandstand. The Toro Grandstand full of fuel with me on it right around 1,200 pounds. That's still 500 pounds less than the Z3. Now, I'd really like to have one of them Z3Xs. I like it, it's a beautiful mower, but that's the difference. We get three months of spring where the ground's always soft and then two months of fall, or two and a half months of fall where it's always soft. That's the majority of my season that I would be risking destroying lawns, right? I'd have to wait until things dry up to go out and mow. I just can't do it. Like you, be strong. Of the sun to dream, believe in strength. Now I'm the only one, only one.
brownies again so there's yours yeah okay so nice i just showed you guys this lawn what it looked like when i got done cut in the front it looks really good but this ladies and gentlemen oh no brownie don't lose your brownie i don't want to lose my brownie this ladies and gentlemen is a clear case of not paying attention what do you mean what did well, i do you didn't do anything I think what? that's pointing right what? at you, though. No, you're fine. It's it actually hit me right at that back corner, no. but but you see how much grass I had laying there? Yeah. Oh, so you did something? Oh yeah, I did. Oh man, you bad bad boy. I screwed up. What a timeout. So I put my Five tunes seconds. on and I'm jamming out. Did you not put the blades on? Oh, I put the blades on. How you do you didn't think? drop the deck down, did you? How do you think all oh. that grass got there, Rain Man? Hey, listen, you could have sat out there, like, you know those things, like, the old people used to use, like, those... The old they were sickles? Like, yeah, the old sickles. Yeah, well, here's the deal. So, I, I, uh, so, I put the music, I get done weed whacking, I put the music on, I drop the deck down, kick the blades on, and I'm just sitting there, Jamming out to a little David Allen Co. Who's that? Mowing along. You don't know what David Allen Co. is? No. Boy, it gets you an education. <laughs> no. So, I'm sitting there jamming out to David Allen Co. Just cruising along, minding my business, mowing the lawn. I'm getting like, I'm like five, six passes in. And all of a sudden, it caught my eye. I don't know how it didn't catch my eye before that, but I'm like, man, I'm throwing a lot of grass out here. I'm like... This grass was tall and it was thick, but it wasn't that bad. Usually I cut that front at three and a quarter every week, right? Yeah. I'm like, man, why am I blowing out so much grass? So I'm like, oh, maybe I just hit a thick patch and I look over and there's grass laying everywhere. I'm like, yeah, that can't be. So I stop and I look down. I had the deck set at two and a half from that last lawn. You dingus. That little part that I cut in front of that last yeah, lawn that never. it's never grows, so I cut it down real short so you can yeah. tell we cut it. I still had it two and a half. So I'm like, well, I'm halfway across the lawn. I might as well, keep, as well going. keep going. So Can't I kept going and then I bumped it up to three and I cut it in the opposite direction. And then I bumped it up to three and a half and I went over it because there was still a little bit of grass lane. So, and you weren't done yet anyway. So I'm like, ah, oh, screw it. I bumped it up yeah, to three and a half and I went in the same direction I went in my first pass and it was all gone. Everything disappeared. There's no grass laying there. Yeah, I did open up the bed. There was only one little spot. That ditch wasn't wet. Really? I went, no, I went right through. I did the whole thing. I cut all the way over, but uh, you right. know, in between uh, Arden, like the, not the one with the fence side, the other yeah. side. Yeah, there's just a little bit of water there. Yeah, it's getting soft over there by that pine tree. But, um, oh, it's super but cool. yeah, so I ended up cutting that front yard three times to get rid of all the grass because I wasn't about to bag it. But yeah, so that's what happens when you screw up and you're just jamming out to some music and not paying attention. So <laughs> that'll happen. Is that music off? We yeah. don't need no copyright up in here. Music's on, off. Is that camera even on? Yes, it's it's going. It's that hey, ten, ten now. It's called the counter, fool. Huh? It's called the counter. What the did counter I say? You go that thing. Is that thing? Yeah, it's a thing. All right. Well, we uh. We knocked out all our lawns. We are officially caught up. Um, we did 18 lawns. The only thing we couldn't mow was we mowed part of our church and the huge parts of it are just way too wet. There's like swamps laying water everywhere. So that's not gonna happen. We're hoping, uh, it's not supposed to rain anymore today. There's a slight chance of rain tonight. As long as it doesn't rain tonight, it's been dry all day. It's supposed to be dry all day and warm tomorrow. And I don't think we're even calling for rain till like Thursday or Friday of next week. So. Um, 
as long as the rain's all over the place. It's right? fine. As long as it doesn't rain tonight and it don't rain tomorrow and it doesn't rain Monday, at the end of the day, Monday we're done mowing, we're gonna go cut it then and then we'll be back again to cut it on Friday. So because it's a Friday long. So other than that, we got everything done yeah. and uh we really knocked them out today, that's for sure. So thankful to Billy. Uh to come and help me today on a Saturday. Billy's yeah. always ready to work. Yeah. Especially when it's mowing. Yeah. But alright guys, so make sure you hit that subscribe bobby button, leave a thumbs up and a comment if you want to. And right. see you in the next one.